it's it's never a good time for the NFL to be doing this during March Madness because all my focus is on March Madness. The Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, the, that focus is all on, on March Madness. But we wanted to look back at a couple guys here that signed some contracts. And starting off in the quarterback position, I think we got to talk about Lamar Jackson here. Uh, we he He announced that he requested a trade that he wants out. There's a lot of rumors going around. Obviously, it's the NFL. Sam, what do you got for me on the franchise tag with Lamar Jackson? So I believe it's uh, non-exclusive. So other teams are allowed to talk with him and make an offer. Um, so they would be taking on what would undoubtedly be a ton of guaranteed money. At least that's what Lamar wants. Um, as well as giving up two first round draft picks. So you're talking about giving up a lot of draft capital um, and then taking a hit as far as cap space is concerned. So, you know, you're not doing something like this lightly. Um, but when you're talking about a former MVP who's only 26 years old, I mean, he could come in and immediately make you a contender. So if you're a team that's not set at the quarterback position, I think you're being negligent if you don't at least talk about it or consider your options with Lamar. You're definitely right about that. Only 26 years old, former MVP, went to the Super Bowl. Zach, what you got on Lamar? I don't know. Uh, is he going to play? Is that his plan if they don't trade him? Is he not going to put pads on? Is he not going to be out there week one? He he's franchise tag for thirty two point four million dollars. So I think he's planning to run it back for one year with Baltimore. It's, yeah. So like, if he doesn't play, does he not get that money? Good that question. You are correct. Yeah. No, you're right. So if he chooses, like we've seen other players do, um, you know, sit out to kind of protest, he will not be making that money. So. Hey, man. Uh, don't know what's going on over there with as far as his relationship with the Ravens. You would imagine it's not great if he's requesting a trade, but yeah, I, if, yeah, I if, really wonder what the deal is. This uh, this could be a Le'Veon Bell situation. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Melvin Gordon sat out the first half of a year with the Chargers, didn't he? Um, so. so this this could be a sticky situation, and for fantasy football purposes. I might be a little nervous. I might be a little nervous. Yeah, for sure. 